genuine race massacre that took place in our country on the last day of May in 1921. But it was so thoroughly wiped from the history books, even the newspapers, that public awareness of it only really came about in these last 25 years. It happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It was a part of town called Greenwood, made up of the descendants of slaves, diaspora from the Deep South. The community those black citizens formed was so successful, it was called Black Wall Street, and it was all more than the local whites and the Tulsa KKK chapter could stand. Fueled by rage and simple jealousy and a false rumor that a black man had attacked a white woman, the whites started shooting and burning. Machine guns were used. The Oklahoma National Guard took part in it. In the end, 300 black citizens were dead, 35 square blocks reduced to rubble and a thousand homes were burned. Survivors were rounded up and sent to camps in our country, the dead buried in mass graves, only one of which has ever been found and unearthed. And then for years afterward came the cover-up. It was not spoken of for decades until recently. Well, today on Capitol Hill, a dramatic moment, survivors who were little children on that horrible night, who today are ages 100, 106, and 107-year-old Viola Fletcher spoke of life back then and the memories today. On May 31st in 21, I went to bed in my family's home in Greenwood, neighbors of Tulsa, the neighborhood I felt was sleeping that night, was rich, not just in terms of wealth, but in culture, humanity, heritage and my family had a beautiful home. We had great neighbors and I had friends to play with. I felt safe. I had everything a child could need. I had a bright future ahead of me. Within a few hours, all of that was gone. The night of the massacre, I was awakened by my family. My parents and five siblings were there. I was told we had to leave and that was it. I will never forget the violence of the white mob when we left our home. I still see black men seen being shot, black bodies lying in the street. I still smell smoke and see fire. I still see black businesses being burned. I still hear airplanes flying overhead. I hear the screams. I have lived through the massacre every day. Our country may forget this history, but I cannot. I will not, and other survivors do not, and our descendants do not. She was given a standing ovation today, 107 years of age. Viola Fletcher worked cleaning houses until the age of 85. This was her first ever trip to Washington. She and the others want to see reparations from the same city and state that for decades denied it ever happened with the 100th anniversary now just 11 days away. That is our broadcast.